yes, we are on board of another Bering yacht, and this one is for sale in the United States. Welcome aboard 2019 Bearing 70. Let's show you around. Are you oh. going to start there? No, I'm going to step you want on. Me, you want me to do the swim platform all okay, by the, myself? Yeah, do the, do the swim platform. Okay, fine. So, on this boat, we have an interesting setup. On our port side, we do have a passerelle right here. So it comes out of here. This boat was built for a European market and is now undergone a huge refit, electrical refit, everything, and it is set up to cruise here in US and the Caribbean. So we'll show you a whole bunch of stuff that they've done to the boat. And of course, this can be closed up with a chain right there. For your drunk friends. Yep. Yeah. And then on the starboard side, you have the actual staircase to the swim platform. So How we have about a really, size? really big swim platform. I mean, it's pretty much a beach club. Put some couple of chairs here. I mean, you could literally put a layout. It's really cool. Yeah. One of these inflatable platforms, Oh, what a spot. All right, let's keep going. All right, so I'm gonna come around. We do have a staircase here. Hang on, let me step on board. Okay, so what do we have here? Transom shower and a hose, hmm. actually. Freshwater hose Washed or something. Down. Yeah, wash down. Big bullets, wow, they are solid, amazing. And a capstan to pull you in. You said amazing. You I said, said amazing. amazing, oh no. That's Marco is gonna make fun of you. Welcome to the cockpit. Yes, the cockpit is really really comfortable easily can have dinner with eight people i like how the hardtop comes all the way back here makes it for very easy to enclose space super so you protected can just right close it up completely if you need to if you and you know cold the climate what's on the other side there do you see there's something there another storage locker okay you can put some dock lines in there so you guys it's like 100 degrees out here and the deck is so hot so we are wearing our boat nice shoes. boat shoes so don't judge us but without it it's just unbearably hot on isn't your this table gorgeous it's varnished really high gloss it looks beautiful on our starboard we've got a sink and probably i would assume some storage but let's look yeah quite a bit of storage mm -hmm. underneath and then i think we should go forward okay let's do it should we go forward on this side yep okay so we're gonna go on starboard look at this windows and the overhang is so wide it really creates a nice deep shade for our salon wait why do we have this here you can take this off for docking to put your line over properly but then for security since they didn't have this bar oh. here they have the chain in there interesting so just to be able to have an easy access to lean down and stuff yeah or to actually touch your line very interesting all right like attention to detail okay and now then all around as you can see courtesy lights in like a distance of two feet or something it's all around the boat we have a weather tight door mm -hmm. right here and then we're coming to the bow which is pretty nice and clean here there's not a lot here except for a giant giant layout cushion wow is there any storage underneath huge storage that's this gigantic compartment yeah right? you want me to open it yes if you can there we go. <gasps> whoa that is nuts <laughs> i mean i don't know if you get perspective but you could put like a bed in here it's huge you could you could all right there we go put this back down and then how about this for an anchor setup Huh? What about it? This is your department. Oh, look at this. I love it. I love it. Go ahead. So we got two pocket anchors, actually. You can see it here on the outside. You got one on each side. There we go. Like a big boy. <laughs> I, like I when really you get love excited this. about it's, anchors. It is so amazing to see something overbuilt like this. I love on it. The on the 70-foot boat. boat. boat yeah. Anyway, it's got the foot remote switches here. Have a little access panel, which is ha 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 hot. It's 100 degrees out. You're crazy. So we have our chain lockers here. One for the port side, one for the starboard side. Have the bullets here for the dock lines. And then all the way forward, a beautiful straight bow. Actually, it's going a little bit forward. I love this look. It looks so cool. To have dual anchors on this boat is incredible. Yeah. What's this? There is the access to kind of like a little lazarette area here and the bow thruster. Uh-huh. Okay. Yeah. So just a little bit of storage for some dock lines and fenders you can throw in there. Nice. If um, you're running out of the storage. Well, before we mount the way, should we go up and check, check the Check out fly the flybridge. Okay, let's do it. We're going to go on our port. 
side door here into our pilot house. We'll see in a moment. That's right. We actually forgot to mention there is a side boarding door on both sides oh, of the vessel. Yes. So, of course, this one is open because that's the one we stepped on board with. Oh, well, I was already on board, so I'm I excused, stepped on. but you all stepped right, on. All right, all right, all right. This is a very steep staircase going up. Are you guys ready? Up to the flybridge. Because it's really tall. It is. Okay, let's do it. Oh, Ta-da! Oh, it feels breeze. so much yeah. better up yes. here. I love it. A lot better, actually. Okay, so Rico, what are all the refits that they did? I mean, I know there's a bunch of it in the interior, but what was it done? Is, it is a long-ass list, a long-ass list. I mean, one of the items, just to give you a couple of examples, brand new helm chair, uh -huh. brand new covers. The list is so long, I would have to probably spend like half an hour going through every single step. If you're interested in seeing what they all did on this boat, the check link. the link underneath the video in the description. It's all listed in the uh, listing of the boat. Oh, the breeze feels amazing. Breeze feels really good. Okay, so there's a tender here. Does it come with the boat? Yes. So we got a steelhead marine crane here, tender lift, little storage box underneath for all your tender supplies, as well as gasoline, so you don't have to store it anywhere inside. Can be outside, it's vented, perfect. Got a center console rip here. This oh. is incredible. Oh. Wow! This is a real outdoor kitchen. The grill is missing here right now, but you got your grill here. Got some Preps, preparation yeah, space, space. Two burner cooktop, sink, uh -huh. storage area, and two fridges. Two fridges? Oh, this is fantastic. So like a drink fridge and an actual fridge. Yes. Love it, or however you want to use them. How cool is that? Yeah, I would use it all the time. Me too. I think it would extend an awning here to be able to have an extra shade here. Yeah. And then you really just cooking. I mean, what I'm saying by cooking, I mean like... You're cooking. You're cooking. <laughs> now you're cooking. We're then cooking right now. We have a really cool looking mast with all the electronics on there. Solar panels up on top, which are helping to keep the house bank charged. Okay. I'm going to shade. Yeah, me too. Luckily, you guys are only seeing me on camera and not so much Rico because he's just sweating. Okay, you guys <laughs> ready for this? Uh, <laughs> I don't even look hot, do I? Okay, anyway, a layout for 10? I don't know, this is crazy. I mean, it's layout for four people. Cool thing is, you can actually flip this up and it becomes a backrest. Oh yeah, I remember, because we were on this boat in Turkey, we just didn't get to film it, and it was like this thing. And This one comes up and becomes your backrest for the like table, that. actually. Like that, so you can have a Correct. backrest, or you can, oh, I like that idea, that's great. So then I know we have storage underneath. Under all of them is storage. Fantastic, look, they have outlets that are all been weatherproof outlets. Really nice table here. Both of the tables are in the great condition. Perfect condition, and, yeah. yeah they look Always great. covered. Fantastic. And then, of course, we have the helm chair that Rico mentioned and uh, got the helm, which and go the ahead. Helm. So we got the flybridge helm here. Almost everything we have downstairs, just a little less. We got the shift and throttle controls, bounce turn thruster control, rudder control, engine monitor, Furuno, autopilot control, Furuno remote for the screen. Then we have the helm wheel and a VHF radio. And honestly, visibility from up here is really, really, really good. See the bow of the boat, and once I lean over just a little bit to the side, can look along the entire side of the boat, and it makes it pretty easy for docking. Another cool thing is through the staircase, I can see the corner of the swim platform all the way in the back. Kind of cool. Not kind of cool. I think it's kind of useful. Should we check out the interior? I thought you would never ask. All right, let's go. <laughs> let's get into that air conditioning. It feels so stable. Well, it is a full displacement boat. I see how you're pointing it out. Full displacement boat. Is that why boat. you wear this t-shirt today? It is a full displacement boat. Oh wait, boat. you didn't just wear a full t-shirt. You wore the hat as well. I know. Oh. I love this hat. Honestly, I wear it almost every day. Who made you this hat? You did. Good wife. Really cool. So in case you're interested in wearing a full displacement t-shirt or hat. Or sweater or, or whatever. mug or... Oh, the coffee mugs? There are coffee mugs and coasters and towels. and Coasters too? There are coasters too. Like me? Yes. Oh my God. There are tons of coasters. Okay, anyways, go to shopnaughty.com and check it out. I think it's time to show everybody the interior. Let's go. Come on in. Oh, it's nice in air conditioning here. Oh, oh. yeah. Nice and, uh, I was going to say toasty, but that's the other way around. Untoasty. Untoasty. <laughs> Untoasty. It's really nice and cold in here, but just want to point out, there is a double door here that yes. you can open completely if you're out somewhere when it's not as hot or not as cold. 
you can beautifully open this up. Is it called up. French doors? Somebody corrected me and said this is called double doors because French doors is something else. All so right. Well, if you guys have the answer, put it in the comments below. Is that a French door or a double door? Uh, Speaking of cool features, okay. new floor, one of the items, which we mentioned earlier, the whole shipyard period. Actually, the whole boat has brand new wooden floors. The whole thing? The whole thing. Wow, really yep. cool. Okay, there's some switches here. What's here. Oh, it's labeled washing machine. And if you call now, you get a brand new washing machine. As Wash well. and dry combo. <laughs> yeah. Curious location. But they did find a spot to put one, which is a big yes. deal. Especially if you're going to go cruise, you need to have one. That was also one of the items which is replaced. Oh, there's also refit. Okay, wow, this list keeps well, keep on giving. Well, since we're already talking about it, <laughs> everything is converted to U.S. outlets and U.S. power because it was a European spec built boat. That's before. huge. How yes. do you not mention it immediately? I don't know. That's a big deal. Yes. So that's definitely a major item. All throughout, so all the outlets. So this boat is US and Caribbean ready. Correct. Fantastic. Completely. Coming to our salon area, it's nice and open. We've got it sitting for... Six? Sure, I was gonna say five. Plus chair Oh yeah, yeah, I mean a couple of poofs, but what's the deal yeah. with the table? So the table is also getting replaced, so it's just been back ordered and not delivered yet. And let me guess, is it going to be one of these convertible type tables that you can actually have dinner or lunch here and then put it down and have it That's as right. your coffee table to watch TV because the yes. TV lift is right there? There's a pop-up TV. I'm either very smart or I've been on too many boats. I don't know what it is. Also what I really like about the salon is the size of the windows. Huge windows. It right? is a really nice visibility. It looks nice and open, and then we have storage all the way here on our port. Open one up. Oh, okay. Yeah, storage everywhere, huh? And then let's go check out the galley. So the galley is definitely compact, but it does have everything you need. A pretty good amount of countertop space. Mm -hmm. If you and I had this in our old boat, we'd be pretty happy with this amount of countertop space. That is oh, true. It's all converted. Yep. It is cool how it's completely open to the salon. You can see all the way aft. Really nice. Do we talk about the breakers? We actually did not, <laughs> but there are high voltage breakers for the air condition and the galley, as well as TV and entertainment system. The on and generator remote controls are on there right now. It says not working because we will see later in the engine room, they're actually getting rebuilt or they're getting finished. Are you ready for the galley? Yes. Okay, let's do it. So run quickly through. We do have drawers here. They look like they're, yeah, Wow, they're really size. big actually. And oh, look, there's some bearing. Branded stuff and Big item, dishwasher. This is definitely a must on a compact galley, even more so. The smaller the galley, the more you need a dishwasher. And it's a regular residential dishwasher. It's great not size. Not a small one. Yeah, yeah, that's what I mean. And it's nice to be able to just get rid of dishes right away. Nothing clutters your countertop space, which is, you know, already somewhat limited. Then we have a nice size sink. Oh, check this out. They actually gave you a little spice door. I like how they did that. You can even put like a little shelf and have a little more here. And we do have a oh that's huge actually yeah so a good space also for trash can if you want to hide it here so we have a four burner cooktop with a hood we have a microwave oven good size drawer here pots and pans yep then we have two fridges and two freezer drawers here yes that's fantastic and then this whole thing here is a really nice bar Ta -da! Ah, you have a space for every single glass Love it. Okay, let's keep going. Ready for the pilot house? Yes. Okay, let's go forward. Nice separation here with a proper door. Yeah. So you can keep it nice and quiet in there. Welcome to the pilot house. Oh, that's such a cute little space. I know, it's also pretty compact, but actually it's cool. Look, they did- A they, leaning post. Yeah, they uh, opt in to not have a chair here. I mean, technically you could have a chair, you but could. it will make it a little difficult to go back and forth here. As Alexi always says, Here's your, your captain's chair. Your captain's chair, where you would spend most of the times. So you really get a bench, and two people can sit here. This looks like a convertible table, right? Mm -hmm. So we can open it up like that. But this is kind of cool and space saving. I mean, underway, this would be a great spot. Yeah, you have and a sandwich, have your coffee. In the end of the day, like if you do any kind of long distance, you're doing the same headings for a very, very long time. So you don't need to stand at the wheel the whole time. That being said, we did get a captain's chair for some reason. Yeah. Alexi was trying to talk you into living posts and you nah. refused. No, nah. <laughs> I want to be comfortable. 
And then still people can sit behind. We did have a space for it. I always so, feel like if you have a space, do it. Yeah. So anyways, we have two side doors, yeah. both weather tight doors with the proper locking mechanisms all around. So if you get in some really bad weather. What is that called, you guys? Dog ears or something? Dog something? Doggers or something dog? Can you put it in the comments for me? I forgot. I know that I learned this once and uh, now I can't remember. Since Victoria is sitting there all comfortable, there are two drawers here underneath. So extra storage there. Again, outlets underneath. There are outlets everywhere, actually. Did you show um, the visibility from here, how cool it looks? It is pretty amazing. Just imagine you're cruising the Caribbean. Yeah, really, really, really good view from here. So we have two multi-function displays here for your radar, chart plotter, whatever you want to put on there. The engine monitor, Furuno autopilot right here. Then we have the Furuno remote control here. Another one over here for the port one. Windshield wiper controls, searchlight two VHF radios right here to the left. Then we have the shift and throttle control right here and the bow and stern thruster control. So then we have a traditional helm wheel here and we have also the joystick for the rudder. So you can do either hand or joystick steering. The horn switch, we have another breaker panel right here. And then here on the left hand side, we have the Dometic key controlled discharge switches so you cannot accidentally pump overboard your gray or your black water so that's pretty cool as well you don't have to lock the actual through hole because it's actually key controlled oh <laughs> but wait there is more and then overhead we have our bilge pumps throughout the entire boat with the push breakers exterior lights rudder angle indicator furuno multi-function displays we got three here and then we have the sea keeper control and the fire suppression system, which is a fire boy in this case. And then of course, red lighting overhead for nighttime when you don't want to turn the bright lights on, the red helps a little bit for the eyes not getting blinded too much. Are those access panels you think, or are they storage? <gasps> storage? Storage. Brilliant. Yeah, storage oh, like uh, on both sides. That's pretty cool. Hey, are we having one of these traditional Pretty looking wheels. Oh, we having we have no, that we have little the small Dada, oh, yeah. Dada wheel. You're, you're excited about yeah. that. I forgot about that. That's we have right. a wheel where you can actually select the degrees already. But this is really pretty. Come this on. is really nice. Yeah, just, it is really that nice. That does make you feel like you're I agree. cruising I agree. on the boat. Okay, ready to go forward and see what our accommodations are forward. Yeah, the VIP. We have a split setup here, so our owner suite is all the way aft. One thing I wanted to mention, people are probably wondering, why is all this black? Black everywhere, black. It's kind of dark and smaller, right? Do you know why it's black? Are you for reals? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, okay. but if you guys don't know and you're guessing, put it down in the comments right now. It'll be a fun game to see, but clearly it's for reflection purposes to make sure there are no reflections. Exactly, yeah. And that's why also I'm a huge, huge fan of either negative or straight windows like on this model here, because as you guys can see, there's no sun coming in here. There's a tiny, tiny little bit of sun coming in, but I mean, look at this, very, very little in the frame only keeps it first of all cool but also minimizes reflections on the screens on all the your instruments. windows are like this thing forward it definitely creates a lot of reflections. Correct. All right let's go all check right, let's out go. the stairs. Okay nice staircase going down very safe. Come on in into our VIP. So we actually saw this boat in Turkey when the very first time we went and visited Bering when we went and saw the shipyard and filmed the 77 for you guys. If you haven't seen that video, I'll put that in the links underneath the description as well. But we did get to see it, but we didn't get to film it. So it's kind of cool now that this boat is here in US as being based here and it's been converted to a US boat. Yeah. So there's a pretty good chance the next person buying it is going to be US or Caribbean type based owner. I hope it stays in the area. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool to see it here. It's made its way over here. All right, what do we have here? So we have a queen size bed. Yes. All the mattresses are brand new on this boat as well. That's nice. Mm -hmm. So we have some storage here. This is locked what is this yeah this just access to the water heaters actually they're behind there oh okay so that's not a closet no nope. we have this mirror here i think that's a tv oh the tv is in here that would make sense storage here and that's i guess where our hanging locker is oh good size all right turn the lights on here oh the light is attached to the to exhaust the fan. to the fan yeah so anyway it's gonna be a little noisier in here but it is nice that it has an exhaust is it exhaust fan exhaust fan mm -hmm. yeah it's great that it has it all right we have our head here 
tons of storage. Actually, it's even bigger on this side if you look. And they did oh, that. Oh, wow. I mean, me personally, I like it all closed up. Just looks very clean. But I know a lot of people like when it's open because it makes them feel like it's bigger. So you have this here. And look, you also have exposed storage there. Quite a bit of countertop space here. We have our toilet. Tall rack. Nice. Check. All right, let's check out this I shower. I think I need to go in here with Which you. Looks very large. This is a very generous two-person shower. Yes. Hey, do you think this is the size of our shower? We gotta measure it afterwards. I think it is. This is very nice. I'm very happy with this. Dance around in it. Okay, let's go back and check out the owner's suite. Oh, and we didn't mention that it does have openable portholes. Oh yeah. Check that out. Yep. All right, let's go check out the owner's suite. Let's do it. We go all the way aft, separate staircase for privacy. So this is a three cabin, three head setup. This is our second guest cabin, bunk bed cabin, which of course could be used as crew if needed. You could. But in reality, it is a 70 foot boat. You're most likely gonna be using this as owner operator in the US market. But if you wanted to have crew, you could. And it's a very comfortable crew cabin. Mm -hmm. But I think it's a great kid's cabin. This is actually a nice double bed here. Also, if you have a crew that's a couple, also could be pretty cool, right? Or you could have another couple staying here and actually be able to use the bed together. We have a little table here. You can put a poof right here and actually work. Put your computer up. Mm -hmm. We have a bit of exposed storage. There is a hanging locker. Pretty nice. Not very deep, but it works. And there's a little bit of storage underneath there. Yeah, that's a good size cabin. It has its own dedicated head, just right here, well, which is it's also shared. nice because it could be used as a day head. Mm -hmm. It is a wet head. So we toilet here, you can shower off right here on top. You have some exposed storage here, our sink right here. And there's a little bit of closed storage underneath. It's pretty good, actually. You know, they fit what they could to make sure it's workable space. Mm -hmm. And then let's go to the owner suite. Nice size window here. There's also a bit of outboard storage. And welcome to our our owner's cabin. This is queen or king? King. Yeah, it feels big, or at least the 180. We have also portholes on both sides. Let's go through storage. I'm okay. just gonna make my way this way. Sounds good to me. We have our hanging locker here, where right now the vacuum lifts, vacuum lifts <laughs> which I'm sure could move out once the new owner takes possession. We have some storage here. Oh, it's actually deeper than I thought. There is a settee here, which is really cute, nice and comfortable. You can just sit down with your computer. It could be a cute little space to uh, crawl up, read a book. Then this looks like storage as well. Oh, oh what's, that? what's that? Aww. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Somebody left this little gift. We want to take a moment and make sure that you guys are subscribed. Click that subscribe button. Make sure you hit a like button and write us a couple of comments. You guys know we don't charge anything for our yacht tours. We keep our full independence. So the biggest support you can show us is subscribe and maybe follow us on the Patreon if you would like. You're the best. All right, let's keep going. What else do we have? Another hanging locker and a bit more. So hanging locker three drawers. three of them. Yeah. Definitely enough storage for long extended cruisers. Well, it keeps going. It's not the end. There's more. We have a little bit here and all of this outport. Yeah, you're definitely wow. going to be able to fit in here for sure. This mattress does look brand new and looks very nice. What do you mean looks brand new? It is brand new. Yeah, I, I mean, I'm <laughs> saying it is nice looking mattress. Let's go check out the okay, ensuite. Okay, fine. All right, come on in. I think I'm going to have to go into the shower as well. I think it's about the same size. It looks very, very similar. Similar to the VIP, right? Yeah, definitely. And the shower looks exactly the same. Yeah, this is a really nice shower. Are these shelves behind you built in? One little shelf here. That's kind of cool and yeah. buff too. Whoa, that's cool. Right? You know, the only one thing I wish they did, like a little thing uh, to Like support. a bar? Yeah, but you can probably just add that in. So what are we saying? Two-person shower? Yeah, a very generous two-person shower. Definitely good headroom in this boat. Where do we go next? Engine room. Let's do it. We're going all the way out. This looks like there's a bit more. Oh yeah, look at this whole space here. That's good. Mm -hmm. You can either overflow it to one of the cabins or you can use this for your engine room setup. Mm -hmm. All right, 
welcome to the engine room. Since we are already here, let's just point this out. We have a breaker panel here for the 24 volt breakers. We have the high voltage breaker here with some switch overs as well and voltmeters. Big battery switches right here, all visible, really cool. I like that it's behind clear, so you see exactly, even before you open anything, you can see which breaker is for what, which battery switch is for what. Please don't judge too harsh. There's still some work going on. The port side generator is completed. It just needs to be test run. The starboard generator is almost completed, needs to be test run, then of course all sound shielding gets put back up. Well, it's Saturday and it's happening on Monday, I guess. Well, that's the reason we choose the weekend because there's work going on during the week here, so we didn't want to interfere with any of that. Same with these panels here, they're all nicely wrapped, they got repainted and then everything gets back installed and this engine room is going to look like brand new again. So here is the starboard main engine. It's a Cummins QSB 6.7 with 305 horsepower. So we have two of them, of course, starboard port engine. Right above is the water maker. Then behind Victoria, okay, okay, I'll get out of the way. we got the Victron battery charger and uh, inverter, as well as the, one of the engine room fans. Got a fuel tank below the generator, the sea keeper, right over here it's amazing to be able to have a sea keeper on this it's already so stable to begin with that's true so with a sea keeper it's probably just fantastic yeah so yeah sea keeper right here in the center then we have another very large diesel tank here fuel tank sorry for the panels obviously i don't want to move anything around because whoever is coming well, back it's in not your engine room on... to be moving stuff around exactly so whoever is coming in on monday don't want to have them hate me because i screwed up their repair primary fuel filters hydraulic pack right there, chiller system for the air condition, which is also brand new. Of course, the big exhaust coming over here, the port side engine right now, a little bit covered up, working material, Fireboy right in the center. Got an oil changing system on board as well, so making oil changes very easy on this boat. I was just looking for the secondary escape out here. That is behind you. Oh. And the ladder the... for it is actually standing oh, right, right there. there. Okay. Because of the work, they actually removed it. It's easily to remove. And then you could go out in the cockpit. You have cameras in here as well. Nice. You can display up at the helm. It's actually pretty good access. It's good headroom. So I'm 5'7", so it's definitely like a, I don't know, 5'11 or something. Yep. It's a nice cockpit compact but everything is well laid out engine room right i agree um, i gotta say this is one of the better ways i've seen a sea keeper positioning because usually it's kind of towards the floor and it's just sort of in a way a lot of the times yeah this is pretty good because you can even put stuff on top of it if you have to you could kind of when you're working around it yeah. gives you an extra surface well i hope you guys enjoyed the tour give us a like a comment and all that and uh, we'll see you on the next one and enjoy some outtakes and if you want some more see you in the future see you know what See you in a Patreon. Oh, Patreon. Patreon. Okay. Patreon. Bye. Bye. Very much nice and open right now. It's very nice. Oh boy, this is all going downhill from here. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's go. You ready?